It's been over two weeks since an EF3 tornado wreaked havoc mm -hmm. in Sullivan. Yeah, Jim Thompson, she was in Sullivan today and spoke to a couple of homeowners who've managed to stay in their homes. I'm here in Sullivan, where many homes have been leveled and hauled away. But within this devastated neighborhood are a few houses where residents continue to weather the storm. Chris Silka, a retired lineman and Sullivan County resident, says he has worked many devastating storms throughout his career. When I was a lineman, we did come in, we put power back up and then we was gone. But being here dealing with it every day is totally different. Silcott has been staying in his home on Silver Street since the storm. And there's no power here. Uh, got cold water, got cold water, that's all. And it's pretty basic living, just all I got left is a bed, sleep in. A little gas heater to keep me warm. He says every couple of days he needs a break and a shower, and that's when he gets a room at the motel in Sullivan or visits a family member. But he has preferred staying at the place he has called home for the last 20 years. I'm going to clean everything out of here, and we're hoping to put a camper right here and get some temporary power. And Just up the road in the city limits, Lee and Cindy Jett have also chosen to stay in their home. So we took a lot of damage, but we're still standing, and that's a blessing. While many of the houses surrounding the Jets' home are gone, they are staying in their living room while their water-damaged home is undergoing restoration. We got power back on, the cable's on, the internet. Yeah. The only thing we don't have is gas. The Jets pitched a tent in the backyard, a backup place to stay in the event they need to evacuate the house. If they say we need to get out of the house and it's up and we ain't messing with it at night or anything trying to get it up, Silcott and the Jets both expressed their thanks to those who helped. I mean, it's been amazing the help we've had. The Salvation Army left Friday. They were great people. Uh, Samaritan's Purse has been here helping me clean up. These are just great, tremendous people. And I want to thank everybody that pitched in, helped me clean up the yard and cut down trees. and. God knows where I'd be without them. The most powerful feeling here in Sullivan, despite all that the residents have been through, is their feeling of gratitude. Reporting in Sullivan, I'm Jen Thompson.